Welcome to the next lesson, my mathletes near and far and wide. Um, we've had way too many disruptions from random people, and I thought we need less random people in these videos. And how do you get less random people? You have more planned people. So I invited a very special guest to join us today, my mother. Come on, join our video, mom. Uh, why don't you stand right here? Um, I mean, I meant you could join the video, but I guess your Lego self works too. <laughs> I wanted to be in my best shape for the camera. I see, because <laughs> you're made out of shapes. I get it. Very clever, Mom. All right, well, the shapes we're dealing with today are circles, and this question says, the head of a nail is a cir is circular, as shown, and they even label it for you if you don't know what the head of a nail is, it's the circle that's on top of the nail. Uh, the head of this nail has a diameter of th six millimeters. Which measurement is closest to the area of the head of this nail in square millimeters? So I'm trying to figure out, like if I had a little tiny paintbrush and wanted to paint the top of the head of the nail, how much paint would I need? What's the area I would have to cover? And thankfully there's a nice easy formula. Area can be a bunch of different formulas. When it's a circle, the area of a circle is going to be pi r squared, just like that. Here, I need r, which stands for radius. I don't have r, I have diameter. But thankfully, there's a nice easy way to get radius. Mother, why don't you tell us how we get that? Oh, well, the diameter is 6 millimeters. So the radius is half of that. Three millimeters. Easy as pie. And with the puns again. Yes, easy. Uh, so this pi is the Greek letter named pi, P-I, hence the mom joke. Uh, we will use pi in this formula. Uh, well, actually, you know what? Pi is technically 3.14159265 and then a bunch of other letters forever. We're going to make that super easy. We're just going to round it off to three. Oh, so even easier than pi. <sighs> yes, mother, even easier than pi. All right, scoot over here. So I have the area equals pi, and you can put that in finger quotes. It should be 3.1, blah, 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 blah. We're just going to write 3. We're just going to do the math with 3. And it's going to work out pretty well because look how far apart these answers are. So even rounding a few decimal places off that pi number, it shouldn't get us the wrong answer. So we've got three times the radius squared. In this case, the radius we just learned is half the diameter. It's three, so this is going to be times three squared. Too bad it's not four squared. I would have brought my tennis shoes to play. Yeah, you didn't really bring any shoes. I mean, look, this is like... What is this? Did you, like, dig way into the depths of your closet for this outfit, Mom? You told me we were working on circles, so I just grabbed whatever was lying around. <sighs> All right. Let's try to focus here. <sighs> uh, three squared is not, 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 not the same as three times two. Three times two would have said three times two or three times two, or three times two, or three times two. None of these have a superscript floating little two on the top. This means three times itself that many in a row. So two in a row, three times itself, which is just three times three, that's going to be nine. So down here I have three times three squared, which is nine. I get 27. And again, I rounded this from 3.14 to just plain old 3. And so it's not exactly 27. Which of these is even close to 27? It's got to be H. <gasps> Nailed it! <sighs> I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. <sighs> Deep breathing. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, why don't you come over here for this next problem, Mother? A circle has a diameter of 7.6 feet. 
which measurement is closest to the circumference of the circle in feet. So we're not looking for area, now we're looking for circumference. That's not quite as easy because there's a couple different options for circumference, okay? And I suppose I won't make you write upside down, Mother. Go ahead and write right side up on there. Which of those formulas for circumference do you think we should use? We should use pi times d equals c. C? 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 Yes, Mother, I do see your c for this. Uh... <sighs> anyway, <clears throat> c, which is circumference, and also a pun, if you're my mother, is going to equal pi d. That was the right choice here because they give us the diameter, and this formula has the diameter, so we're going to use what we got. Okay. Now again, pi, we're just going to write 3, finger quotes pi. And normally I would say, well, because we rounded this number, don't round this one also. But again, look at how far apart these answer choices are. There's a lot of room here, and so we're just going to go ahead and use a nice even 8. That's right. For circle problems, we want to use round numbers. <sighs> Is this large enough to cover that mouth of yours? Anyway, 3 times 8 is 24, and again, what's the only one that's even close? It's got to be A here. We didn't get exactly 24 because we rounded, but we got pretty darn close. Next problem here. A circular tablecloth has a radius of 2.5 feet. Kyle is sewing a piece of ribbon around the edge of the tablecloth. If Kyle has exactly enough ribbon... Which measurement is closest to the length of the piece of ribbon in feet? So, I hesitate to even ask, but Mom, what are we trying to find in this problem? Well, he's trying to get the ribbon around the edge of the tablecloth. So, we need circumference. All right, I will give you points for the sewing pun, Mother. It's, that one was decent. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, we're not only going to use circumference, but we're not going to use the same circumference as up there because we don't have the diameter here, we have the radius. So instead we're going to write c is 2 pi r. Now if you know much about the radius and the diameter, you know that 2 times r is d. So really, pi times d is this exact same formula. We just split the 2r up so that it looks nice and curved, really. They should have made it 2r pi, but such as math. Sometimes it doesn't make as much sense as we'd like it to. It does, however, make sense to round only the pi, because this is not only an easy number to work with, but it's also not a good idea to round two numbers. Again, up here we risked it. They were far enough apart. It was fine. We could risk it here because they're so far apart, but look. 2 times... 2.5, and that's perfectly legitimate. You can change the order in multiplication. Well, that's 5 times our finger quotes pi. It's just going to be 15, and boom, there we have it. Okay. Now, this last problem here is the trickiest. Jennifer painted a tabletop that is shaped like a circle. The circumference of the tabletop is 6 pi feet. Which measurement is closest to the area of the tabletop in square feet? Well, they tell us to find the area which shouldn't be a problem, we got a formula for it, but they don't give us what we need. We need r, the radius, we don't have r, we have the circumference, but thankfully we know from this formula up here that if I take the circumference, I can write a formula that has radius in it. So the circumference, which is 6 pi, is going to equal 2 times the radius times pi, the pi's match here, so all I have to do to get this to be equal totally is figure out what times 2 would give me a 6. Radius, definitely totally 3. Oh, that work is radiant. Seriously. All right, Mother, every point you got for the sewing problem, I'm taking away. If I hear another pun out of you, you are out of here. I brought you here to eliminate distractions, not make new ones. <sighs> 
So the area is pi r squared, and that's here going to equal 3. We're just using that rounded pi number. And r is 3, so again we've got 3 squared, which does not mean 3 times 2. We've got 3 times itself 2 in a row. That's what that squared means. And so we'll have 3 times 9. We're going to get here 27. Which is in the area of 28. So here we go. In the area, Mom, really? Oh, in the area of 28. That's it. Get out of here. <laughs> get you and your circle puns out of my math videos. Oh, do we need to try three-sided figures instead? All right, children. Um, while I try to find some more productive occupation for my mother, why don't you all go ahead and try these two problems, and maybe don't bring your parents if they like puns too much.